before we get into this video, y'all, I need your help with letting me know what we should name her. Um, I'm getting like the name Francis, Francine or something. Um, I'm thinking about like, you know, the, the nanny. I think there was like in the 90s, the sitcom, The Nanny. And I'm thinking just like Fran or something. Let me know, but um... Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly You vs. Them reading. I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Cancer, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. But when it comes to any of my readings, Cancer, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Cancer. If you find some cards that resonate, with you be sure to let me know in the comments below let me know which card was your aha moment that i like to say of a card that just really resonates with you and also if you do find a card that resonates with you cancer be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and always i'm super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me uh, but yeah and finally cancer uh this reading's just here to give you some perspective right i'm not here to make a decision in your life i'm not here to speak for anybody right i'm just here to hopefully give you some food for thought some perspective during your week that you can consider as you go throughout your week when it comes to connecting with this person right but with all that being said cancer let's just start getting into your reading now um we have the back of the deck energy for the overall energy for this week between you and your person for this you versus them reading cancer and it's honest it's actually the best card in the deck cancer it's the sun card right so right off the bat like this is a really good energy i would say cancer in terms of if you're considering you know i mean i don't because this is just a general reading i don't know the specific example so like maybe for some of you cancers if you're considering um reaching out to somebody this is a really good week to do it you have the sun card like so like this is <laughs> i feel i don't know how to else to really explain this card other than that it's just like all encompassing right allergies are starting to get to me cancer so now i'm just like don't mind me as i'm like dying over here but yeah i'm just this is such a take this card as like such a forward push when it comes to like anything that you would like to um have like the result of when it comes to this connection maybe if you're trying to have them consider like a job opportunity or what have you um they just it just is a week of where it seems like the energy would be received well but you know we'll see let's get into some clarifiers as well uh but i pulled a card for you cancer i pulled a card for them and i pulled a card for the energy in between y'all so we'll get into that first before i pull some clarifiers for you uh cancer on your side you have the hermit card so you're in, a, in this place of kind of like uh reservation cancer so uh maybe for some of you guys you like see the sun card and like me hinting at it makes sense now as to why like i was hinting at uh going like forward movement you know for some of you cancers maybe it's like i'm like coming into the room and like removing the blinds getting some sun in your room getting you going again i, I don't know why cancer i just can't help but feel like um, when I see this kid, or when I see this cancer card, when I see this hermit card cancer, I kind of see this as, um, I don't know. It just feels like you're, I can't explain it quite yet, but it just feels like you're, a little, like you're down in the dumps about something when it comes to this situation. Um, but we'll see. We have the Hierophant on their side of things, Cancer. Uh, now the Hierophant, this is someone that has a pretty good idea of themselves, Cancer. I like seeing this card as someone's overall energy just because I associate the Hierophant as someone that has a um, really good connection with their higher self, Cancer. So something to consider. When I, how I would take this though, um, as someone's like overall energy, I don't know, like, I guess I'm more so trying, I'm like distracted in the sense of like trying to figure out what kind of energy I'm connecting to with that hermit card for you, Cancer. Um, but it's not quite making sense to me yet. And then we have the devil card coming in as the energy between y'all two. Now this might start giving me a heads up as to what's going on a little bit. When I see this energy as the energy between y'all two, uh, Cancer, I kind of see this as, um, enabling energy right it's kind of like that energy of where it's like two people with like good intentions but like when they try to come together it just ends up being messy right it kind of ends up being a situation of like oil and water 
right? For some of you uh, cancers, right? Maybe that's how you feel. And so maybe for some of you guys, you're just kind of like tired and like exhausted and um, random message. It just is like, there's just like this sense of just being tired and just ready to give up in something. I don't know. Definitely let me know, Cancer, if I'm like honing in on something with this because it's just such a random uh, energy that I'm like connecting to. But let's start pulling some clarifiers now. Maybe this all makes sense. We're going to start with your side first, Cancer, with this uh, Hermit card, remember. See what's going on with that. Uh, we have the clarifiers flying out already. So back of the deck energy, we have <laughs> we have the star card coming in for you. Um, so still really good energy. Uh, okay, this is making more sense now. We're going to put a pin on this uh, card real quick, Cancer, but remind me if I don't get to it later. But I really like this card now. By lo looking at these other clarifiers, it's making sense. Um, the clarifiers, the three clarifiers I pulled for your Hermit card, Cancer, were the Lover's card the ace of swords so really good energy here and i'm just like okay what's going on still and then the five of cups coming in here now the five of cups is letting me know like everything's starting to make sense to me now cancer it was just like what's going on it's just like uh honey cancer don't be that difficult friend for me and just like just let me know what's up girl don't make me have to like pull it out of you right she's um <laughs> so with this five of cups what does this represent to me i'm seeing this as an individual who <sighs> this could be one of two ways this could be someone who it has to like make a choice and like walking away from this connection and this could be with some other unrelated situation um but it feels like some of you uh cancers you're put in the situation where um you have to walk away from something and i don't know if you want to necessarily i don't know if it's in regards to this person in the sense that you have to like you kind of see um that while this person makes you happy it kind of is not that wonderful of an energy it's kind of like not <sighs> how do i put this i'm trying very hard not to use the word toxic cancer because it'd be such an easy cop out but i don't feel like this is necessarily toxic i see this as like an energy where it's like not a substance something where it's just like i don't know maybe like deep and down inside for you cancer there's like this sense of um wanting more like a better like something more fulfilling right it's just like it just is not hitting where it needs to um because i see this with this lover's card and this ace of swords um and the star card this is letting me know like cancer you're really craving like an intimate connection when i say intimate it doesn't have to be romantic or sexual cancer i just see this as like a you're craving like a deep connection a deep understanding someone to understand you someone to just challenge you emotionally i'm getting um especially with the cups but just like and the lovers just like you're just wanting more you're just at like want like something in this connection it just is like it's like those it's like empty calories that's the best way i could put this is where it's just like you're eating this food but it's not filling you up any it's not giving you any type of nutrition and something in here is kind of like telling you deep down in that right it's like maybe you're just talking to them and just whatever but like deep down it's just like you know this just isn't sitting right you know there's just like this isn't how your story should be is something that I'm getting, right? Such a random specific message, but I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna just write it out, Cancer. So definitely let me know um, if this even resonates with you. But um, yeah, interesting. It's powerful though. I think that's just so powerful to be in that kind of mindset or to, yeah, to be in that state of mind of where you're acknowledging something's, I won't call it a waste of time, but it's not taking you forward in the way that you would want it to. So I'm pulling already the clarifiers, Cancer, for the their side with this Hierophant. So when I see this Hierophant, this is like, again, someone that I see, someone that's like kind of in tune with themselves. You could also see this person is kind of spacey as well in their head a lot, but not always, in, not in a bad way. They're just kind of like um, oblivious to the world a little bit. Uh, cancer. So the clarifiers that I pulled, back of the deck energy, five of swords for them. So this is an energy of walking away from something or engaging something, but we'll see with these clarifiers as well. 
Um, these clarifiers, we have the Seven of Swords coming in, King of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands. <sighs> Cancer, I kind of see this person as, like, good intentions, right? With this King of Pentacles, this is someone with good intentions, especially with the Hierophant. This is someone that truly is just, like, the they are there's like a quote and i don't remember who it's from cancer but it's like it's something along the lines of when you know better you do better right and that's kind of like the, in essence what i feel like this person is is where it's just like they may be kind of a little bit of an airhead or oblivious to the world or oblivious to other people's emotions but it doesn't mean they don't care it just means like um they're just in their head they're just in a place where they just don't know until they know um I kind of am getting, am getting like a little bit of a sheltered vibe, I'm not going to lie, Cancer. So that is something just to think about when it comes to dealing with this situation, if this is your story, is that I kind of just see this person as just like a little bit oblivious and, um, and just a little bit sheltered. I see this person kind of like overwhelmed when it comes to situations, when it comes to social interactions a little bit i see this like maybe if someone has like if they're confronted with something cancer they kind of like get overwhelmed quick they kind of like shut down and don't really um respond well they don't have a really good sense of like their emotions or like their headspace when um <laughs> when there's like a confrontation or when there is like actual like serious discussion needing to be had is something that i'm getting um it's interesting though. I want to kind of want to see like how do they how do they feel about this connection? And the cards just flew out um, <laughs> for that. So I pulled a couple cards that came out for how they feel about this connection. They feel they have the sun card coming out again, Cancer. So they still feel good about this connection. They do. I don't know if they messed up or something, Cancer, because I kind of see this as someone messing up. Uh, Nine of Swords and the Justice card. What happened here? Because this is someone, Nine of Swords is someone that's in their head, sleepless nights, right? I mean, you just see the image of it and it's kind of self-explanatory. But then you see this Justice card here where it's just like they're in their head about bringing something back into balance, making making right to something. So it's kind of leading me to believe that it's just like they realize like they're mistaken in something, Cancer. Right. So and that would explain why it's just like you're in the sense of where it's just like you have those that five of cups being spilled and where it's just like, well, dang, like maybe they like did a mistake and spilled those cups. But you still notice those two cups uh, filled still. Um, yeah, that would make sense. All this is starting to make sense now. Um, I'm sorry. Something did happen. Like, but I see that they do regret it. Uh, cancer. So. I guess that would make sense of what this devil is here for, too, and the energy between y'all, too. That devil is, like, something that they did to mess up, that messed up the situation, that messed up this really good connection, right? Because you were really feeling it with this lover's card, Cancer. You really, Ace of Swords, like, and that's why you're in your hermit face, because, like, you were just really into this. And then it's just, like, they messed up. They did something. They realized they did something. Let's get some clarification on this devil, though, before we close out this reading for you, Cancer. Three of Wands, Strength. <laughs> the sun follows you, man. And then uh, back of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. So I am going to be honest here, Cancer. Um, even though I'm, I say I'm not here to make a decision in your life, right? Uh, when I see this Knight of Pentacles, I see this as an energy of going into new ter uncharted territory. I kind of... So... You can kind of signify this as kind of like moving on energy, but you know, moving on in the, what sense, right? Does it involve this connection, moving on from this connection, not talking to them anymore, or just moving on and forgiving this mess up, this devil, right? Because the clarifiers we pulled for this is the wand, three of wands, the wands, three of wands, Cancer. So this is kind of like, what is your next move, right? The, is reflecting on the future right now that you like this elephants in the room this happened this devil happened 
what's the net like what is the plan now does everything need to change does everything change what changes um strength card comes in where this is a time of i mean it's self-explanatory right where it's just like the inner strength i call this the shadow work card cancer whenever i see this this is definitely um something where it's like yeah you're being called to action of really squaring up your shoulders straighten out your back and just like taking this head on but also see the lesson into this don't um fall victim to it because end of the day your story does get better the sun card thought has followed you throughout this entire reading cancer um i am going to be honest like when you have it with that knight of pentacles it is kind of like an energy where it's just like you can go out to better horizons right but also keep in mind the sun card was the back of the deck energy for them i did pull those cards asking how they felt about you and that sun was still there so i feel like regardless of the decision that you make cancer it's just more so about like what you will feel best with because i see this person regretting what it is that they did and wanting to bring justice to whatever mistake that happened cancer so you know Take that as you will, right? Um, if you feel like sharing what happened, I would love to know the gossip of what happened because this, I'm so glad, like, I'm not glad that this, that this happened to you, Cancer, but I'm glad that this, like, now all, like, has made sense because it's really random reading, right? Two pentacles, final card, back of the deck, uh, a choice needs to be made, that chaotic energy, right? Man, do not envy y'all's situation this week, Cancer, but um, definitely let me know which card resonated with you the most. If this reading did resonate with you, please let me know, Cancer. Um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they would be into my messages. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much. Bye.